Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back, loves. Welcome to Queen Cancer Tarot. My name is Catherine. I'm here to bring you clarity, guidance, and love messages. I have a timeless reading for all of my lovely cancers. Sun, moon rising, and Venus reading. So please take this energy, how it resonates with your energy or the person that is closest to you. If you are new to the channel, make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe by clicking on that that watermark in the bottom right corner of your screen. That way you will be entered in your chance to win. I do a giveaway every month. Um, and everything that I give away as a nurse every month for the monthly giveaway. Also, I do a weekly drawing where I will draw three subscribe from this drawing here every Friday. And today is that day. Today is the day, y'all, because I am going to be going live later today to announce the winners. All you have to do to be entered in your chance to win the weekly or the weekly drawing, which is a three question personal reading with me. Um, all you have to do is hashtag win, hashtag free reading in the comments. OK, do that and I will see your name and I will enter it into this drawing bag. OK. All right, so later today, folks, we are going to be announcing the winners. So please go ahead, get your entries in, hashtag win, hashtag free reading. I will go through all of the comments just prior to going live, okay? And make sure that I have all the entries in. Okay, so far, everyone is all entered. Um, it's up to date, but uh, if you want to also get your last chance to get in, this week's uh, poll, please go ahead and hashtag win in the comment section of this video. Okay, hashtag win or hashtag free reading. Okay, so cancers, I just pulled a couple of cards here. Um, because I wanted to go over the overall energy, what you are facing with your person. We're going to look at the issue here and the energy, the driving factor behind that. And then these are the cards underneath the deck. What we pulled here was the star. Okay, so we have Aquarius energy here. And we have the Queen of Wands. Okay, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, which is also fire energy here. Under the deck, we have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, the Emperor. Aries Taurus energy and the wheel of fortune, strong fire energy. Okay. So Cancer with the star, this is the energy of someone who is healing or getting over a situation um, that may have hurt you in the past, or this could be someone who is getting over, um, and this is pertaining to your relationship or connection with your person. Um, so I feel like there's something that you and your person are um, getting over or healing from. There may have been an argument that took place, okay, and someone has come in to apologize or you both are working on the connection. Maybe someone cheated in the past and I'm seeing the Queen of Wands here. So this is letting me know that this could be third party energy or this could be the energy of some person 
outside the connection or something that is outside the connection that has been coming in and um, causing interference between you and your person. Okay. So we're just going to, at this point, we're just going to say it's some sort of external factor. We don't know if this is another person or not. Okay. Um, we're going to clarify to see what that queen of wands energy is. Okay. But this could be someone who is, you know, coming in that is single, um, that is flirting with your person. You know what I'm saying? Or this could be a friend or this could be a hobby. Okay. Maybe your person likes to, um, collect antiques and like every weekend your person spends all of their free time antiquing you know what i'm saying so therefore they can't really spend time with you so that's sort of a situation so anything that is standing in between you and your person fixing whatever it is that you need to fix okay so something is standing in the way of you and your person healing or um, patching up your connection. Okay, so under the deck here, we have the Queen of Wands. So automatically, we have a true pair here. We have the Queen to the King of Wands here. So this is definitely two... Um, a masculine and a feminine energy here. This is um, a situation where you have two uh, soul tie counterparts. Okay. Um, and I feel like there are a lot of uh, emotions or there's a lot of passion between these two. Now, this can represent these two people being at odds. Okay. Um, but this can also represent two people who just feel very passionate about, you know, one another or very passionate about what they are doing. The King of Wands is also an energy of someone who's looking forward to the future or they can see the bigger picture. They're not necessarily looking at things at face value, but they're looking at things like 10 steps ahead. So they're planning things way beyond what you're looking at them. You see what I'm saying? So um, they're trying to foresee what's going to happen based on the way things are going now. And with the emperor, this represents an energy of someone who is, you know, in that current position, because it's in the current position here, of feeling safe and secure in your situation, but with this King of Wands, there's an energy of you seeing what's going to happen. And what the Wheel of Fortune tells me is that things are, there's gonna be some sort of upheaval that takes place. Okay. Um, now this does talk about blessings coming in, um, but this can talk about things turning upside down before they are right side up. Do you see what I'm saying? If everything is going well right now and you're in this emperor energy where you feel safe and protected, something is going to take place that is going to completely shake that up for you, Cancer. Or there's an energy of seeing ahead that something is going to happen that's going to cause this security to be kind of pulled out from underneath you. And I am seeing an energy of potentially you're seeing that this third party is going to be a problem. Um, I feel very strongly that this is another person. We're going to clarify in just a second here. But I do feel like this Queen of Wands is another person here. Um, and you're you're seeing that this is not going to last. Or you're feeling 
the energy that this isn't going to last. Like you're seeing ahead of the game. Right now, things are good. Okay, everything is good. But there's an energy of just knowing that this Queen of Wands hasn't disappeared. They're still right here, Cancer. Okay, they're still right here. So let's see what the cards have to say. Um, for those of you who are new, I did just have surgery on my hand, this, the bandage here. Um, I look like the mummy right now. I'm going to be taking the bandage off today. It is uh, been three days since my surgery, so it's easy for the next two weeks. I cannot pop my stitches, so my shelf Pulling is modified. I'm doing a modified version of my shuffle because I can't hurt myself. All right. I had to have trigger finger release surgery on my left thumb. Okay. And uh, it's going to take two weeks for it to be able to get the stitches removed. Once the stitches are removed, I can move around and do whatever I normally do. All right, so let's clarify here. Tell me about the star. This is an energy of you healing from something, um, working something out with your person, or hoping that things are going to get better. You having the hope that things are going to repair themselves. Okay. Or this is just a period of repair. And I saw the two of pentacles and I started to call it, but I didn't. I put it back in the deck and here it is again. See, you can't get away from it. If, if spirit is wanting to say something, it's going to say it. So we have the two of pentacles here. So I feel as though there's an energy of you are in the process of working out a situation that may have taken place recently or you know in the near um recent past or in the um distant past like this could have happened a long time ago where you and your person separated but i feel like you're you're working on things you are now talking to your person and you know you're working on fixing things with your person that two of pentacles is someone who is like they're juggling they're going back and forth they're working things out little by little do you know what i'm saying testing the waters okay but you are trying to work things out with this person oh my god look at this cancer the star underneath the deck this is gorgeous. See what I mean? This is so confirming. And you have the King of Pentacles here. So this, this could be um, someone that you were married to, or this is a divine masculine that you are trying to work it out with. Um, yes, Cancer. Okay. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Tell me about the Queen of Wands, please. Is this a third party? Did, did your person like sleep with someone else? Okay, look. So we have the Hermit and the Four of Swords just came out. Both of these cards reflect an energy of someone who is, they're trying to heal from something, but at, at, while they're doing it, there's an energy of reflecting like over what happened. Like they're looking at the situation, doing some introspection, evaluating, you know, the situation. But this is more an energy of looking at what role they played in it, where they stand, how they feel. Um,
So it could be an energy that this third party cancer is gone quiet or this third party is currently like not an issue because there's an energy of your person is trying to evaluate things to see what they want to do or who they want to be with. I feel like your person is trying to determine or decide what they want to do. Okay. Um, that four of swords is just like an energy of someone who is like, they're asleep, they're, you know, they're in there, but they're not really available. They don't really want to talk to anybody on the outside right now because they're looking at themselves. Okay. They're evaluating their own feelings, how they feel about this queen of wands, this third party energy. Okay. So that is why we're seeing this two of pentacles. That is why this person is going back and forth because they're trying to figure out what they want to do. They're still trying to figure out their own feelings for this queen of wands, cancer. And Cancer, I feel as though you, and maybe you are not aware of this, but there's an energy of this is what's happening. This is the reason why a person is like going back and forth. Okay. Tell me about the King of Wands, please. Tell me about the King of Wands. There's an energy that you know, that it's like you just know in your heart of hearts that this person is going to, like things are going to change with this person. But let's see how they're going to change. I just got the Knight of Swords in the reverse for the King of Wands. We just got the Knight of Swords in the the reverse with the king of wands. So this is an energy of things being unpredictable or not being able to predict what's going to happen or getting frustrated or, you know, there's an energy of, you know, potentially being frustrated that king of wands is an energy of somebody who is upset Okay, so I do feel like there is currently a lot of frustration on your end because of the unpredictable nature of your person. There's an energy with this emperor, like this person, you were supposed to be committed to this person. This person was in a committed connection with you. So the fact that they are now going backwards and reevaluating their feelings about a third party is what is causing you to get very, very angry, Cancer. And with the Knight of Swords in the reverse, this is an energy of an argument, a very intense argument that is taking place because this is a very arrogant arrogant the, the the gall of this person to actually think that you're going to sit around and wait while they're going backwards okay you're in a commitment with this person but now this person is evaluating their feelings for a third party i can see why you're upset here and with the three of wands under the deck here and the wheel of fortune cancer like you're just ready to go you would just assume that you would do better elsewhere Okay, and you can already see that this is going to be a situation that you are not going to be able to sit still in. Do you see what I'm saying? You can foresee the future and, you know, there's an energy of you know when it's time to go. Okay, and this is a clear indication, Cancer, that things are not working out here. 
Do you see what I'm saying? Tell me about the emperor, please. Like you were in a commitment with this person. You could have even, you could even be married to this person. And now this person is trying to figure out if they really belong with someone else. So look here, we got cancer. I'm not taking all these cards, but I will take the card on top here. So the tower in the reverse is what came out here. Under the deck, Cancer, you have the Four of Wands. Like I said, there's an energy of, there's no way you're able to go backwards. Like you were all, like you're married to this person. How is it that this person is trying to decide if they have feelings for a third party energy? Do you see what I'm saying? Like we're not going backwards here in this situation you're already committed and now there's an energy of this person is going backwards and they're breaking promises basically with the tower in the reverse and the four of wands under the deck this is a broken promise but one that you can never ever come back from cancer this is an energy of you know that this is going to change every thing um with the wheel of fortune like this is everything is definitely <laughs> been pulled up from underneath you here tell me about the wheel of fortune please Holy Spirit, angels and guys tell me about the wheel of fortune and the ace of wands cancer listen this is an energy of you being extremely um i'm gonna say um animated okay um but also very very angry i see you very hot here see we have the knight of wands under the deck okay hot tempered i said hot didn't i and this knight of wands represents someone with a very hot temper with the ace of wands there's an energy of someone it, it's not going to take much to piss this person off um and i don't see you sticking around but I also don't see it being a very good situation that's going to take place before things happen okay I see things popping off here with you and this person all right so we're going to come back in the part two and look at your person's energy here okay and see like what's going on behind the scenes on their end but I definitely see you are going to be not taking things in a good good way. All right. So we'll take this into a part two. We'll come back, look at your person's energy, Cancer. Thank you for um, watching the video. And also, if there is an extended for this message, I will have the link available in the description box below. If we go into an extended, we will likely look at the challenges. We will look at any advice Spirit has for you and this person, um, things that you don't see coming towards you, what this third party is going on, um, what this third party has going on, what you may need to know, and the final outcome. All of that will be in the extended. The link will be below. I love you and I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.